From APM, American Public Media, and Minnesota Public Radio, this is Wits. I'm John Moe. Support for Wits comes from Fish Throw, the new offline social network. Find someone you want to be friends with, throw a fish at them. Then yell, hey, I just threw a fish at you, want to be friends. Fish Throw. We got a great show. Patton Oswalt is here. And musician Ben Lee. And as always, we have John Munson and the witnesses. Wits is a live public radio show that's recorded here at the Fitzgerald Theater in St. Paul. It's a comedy musical stage show that gets turned into a radio show. We have a monologue from our host, John Moe. We have interviews with the comedy guests and the music guests. We have songs from the music guests. A lot of sketch comedy and some great conversation with really great guests. The live show is about two hours long. After the live show, we trim it up to a 53 minute public radio program that is broadcast on public radio stations across the country. I am a part of the show from the very beginning stages of who do we get on the show to actually getting the person on the show to thinking about what do we have on the show. Anything that touches the show somehow, somewhere touches me. As music director for WITS, I um, oversee all the music, and I, I put together a really fun, cool band called The Witnesses. And it's got Joe Savage on steel guitar, Steve Rome on vibraphone, and Richard Medic on drums, and Janie Winterbauer is uh, singing. Don't stop the music, let it play one more song, the same one that's played tonight for so long. Five Ben Lee songs, which is more than we've more than we've done of any other artist. Since we're doing a show every week now, it feels very scrambling, but it keeps working out because the band is awesome. One, two, three. There's a stinger. When we're making a show, we have two rehearsals. We have a Thursday rehearsal, and that is the rehearsal that we do before the guests get here. And then we have our Friday rehearsal, and that's really, for a lot of guests, the first time they've seen the material, or the first time they've met John Moe, or the first time they've met John Munson. Hey, John. Good ben. to meet you, Ben. How are you, man? Really good, awesome. really good. Do you have a good trip? Yeah, absolutely. All right. So a big part of my role is to get in touch with the musicians and the, and the musical guests that are going to come on the show and convince them that everything is going to be cool when they show up and we'll actually be able to play their music and it, it's going to go off without a hitch. Gamble everything for love, gamble everything, but it in a place you keep what you need. You can gamble everything for love. If you're free, you got to gamble everything for love. I didn't really know that much about Ben Lee going into this show tonight. And then Larissa was like, this guy's like Elvis of Australia. My head is a box filled with nothing. And that's the way I like it. My God is a secret compartment. And that's the way I like it. That's the way I like it. The music is super hooky and thoughtful and great. And I expect it to be a really fun show. This is Wits, I'm John Moe, a great show just ahead, terrific comedy, wonderful music, and fantastic guests like Patton Oswalt. Well, John, easy on the superlatives. Great, terrific, wonderful, fantastic. But Patton, I believe, I believe that. Rings hollow. Patton Oswalt, he's been on once before. In fact, he's one of the ones who kind of made us realize this could be a big deal. Lucy told Linus he needed to stop carrying his blanket around, so he asked me to hide it from him and not give it back, no matter what. And I was right to do it, Charlie Brown. I don't, I don't need that blanket. I mean, what is it anyway, a scrap of flannel? So what? Oh, my poor sweet baboo. Are you quitting cold turkey? Look, I'm not, I'm not a baby anymore, okay? I Our acting company includes um, Bill Corbett and Kevin Murphy. A lot of people know them from Mystery Science Theater 3000. They've been a part of the show since ever the show was born. If you're into Ben Lee music, as I always have been since crouching in the corner of that delivery room, obscured by a gurney, that's the really good stuff. You gotta go back to my earlier stuff, before my body was formed, before Earth. Pride of the Big Bang. The way we put together the show in terms of the writing is that about a week and a half before the show, our freelance writers pitch us ideas for sketches. And we, we try to tailor 
the material to the guest. Is it safe in here? Can you help us? Oh, you bet. Uh, welcome to Spitz Video. I'm Melvin Spitz, owner and proprietor of the last independent video store in existence since <clears throat> the apocalypse. We just escaped. We've been held prisoner by the lizard people and forced to work in the salt mines. I'm Gary, and this is my wife, Sheila. Can you hide us? Uh, sorry if I wanted to take in every human straggler. I'd run a motel. What I can do is rent you a pristine copy of Barbarella on Laserdisc. What? You, d you don't even rent DVDs? <laughs> DVDs, yeah, if you, I love terrible audio, maybe. You know, the script is in process at all times. Somebody asked me, well, when will I know the script is done? And I said, probably right after it's performed. And then uh, we get an encore song from Ben, oh, and that's our show. Nice. Everybody leaves with a full feeling in their heart. <laughs> <laughs> The hour before the show is a really magical time. We have Twitter tutors walking around. Wits is really innovative in the sense that they've always had Twitter as part of the audience experience. They actually encourage people to bring their cell phones and to be online during the show. Everyone can chime in, and if something's really funny or insightful, it'll get retweeted and everyone will see it. The vibe is always about wit. We kind of think of the audience as their own front act, because throughout the whole show, they continue to express themselves, getting your feelings, jokes, humor across. I have a bunch of random things. If you have random things, you trade your random things for my random things. There is something called the barter box. It's not a fundraiser, it's not a ticket seller, but it's just this sort of weird, funny thing that completely fits in with the gestalt of the show. Oh, <laughs> who knows? I mean, John Moe is a terrific writer, gives you really great stuff to do, and you're always up there with musicians you love and other comedians you like. After 20 years of touring and just playing the same types of shows all the time, anything that is sort of a different format or you get to be creative in different ways, I'm always really open to. Yeah, it's really fun. I don't know if we've, we've done a couple little things together and I always love it. Support for Wits comes from frozen yogurt. It tastes like ice cream, but more sad. And by... Oh, sorry, I gotta do their tagline. Yeah, go ahead. Let me melt in your mouth. I'm always very at ease when I'm on stage. To me, the actual show feels like a party to celebrate the end of the preparation for the show. Like, the show is the fun part. I'm kind of freaking out here. <laughs> Sally, get me a damp washcloth. You got it. Linus, we're gonna get you through this. Oh, man, I don't know, man, all right? I mean, this was... This was Lucy's idea, and she doesn't help people, okay? She's a freak, Charlie Brown. She's my sister, and I love her, but she's the Marquis de Sade, and she's always been alive since Cain killed Abel, you know? John has been, um, for a number of years, doing this thing where he kind of takes a pop song and basically breaks it down, kind of commenting on the, the lyrics. It's a great bit. It's very fun to do. Oh, here she comes. Watch out, boy, she'll chew you up. Oh, here she comes. She's a man-eater. Oh, here she comes. What I hear in the booth is the closest to the radio listener's experience. I'm very critical of it because I'm listening to the show and I'm thinking, I've got to cut that or I need to redo that. I'm listening for things that, if I'm going to make a cut, I need, I need a pickup. When I've said shark or gorilla who wins, everybody gets upset and wants to know the terrain and the equipment. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I need to qualify the question past the point of it being funny. Well, you've done that. Thank you. <laughs> so sometimes things get a little out of control. And to me, it's like flying a kite. At that point, you don't try to get the kite to fly straight. You let out more line. So Pat Oswald gets the round. Yes! <laughs> It's okay, you got the round. You got the round. You don't need them. You got the round. We almost had an incident, but Keep I think we're going to be okay. forgetting about the animals that NPR brings out. I know. Out. There's something so simple and wonderful about being with people and telling stories. 
it might be millions of people listening to the show, it might be a thousand people in the Fitzgerald Theater, you're still just people telling stories together. Ben, what's important? I'm gonna answer totally seriously. What's important is realizing that our consciousness is asleep and making any effort we can to wake it up. Patton, what's important? Uh, getting whatever bath salts Ben has, <laughs> man. I was deep, dude, did you hear that? Man. <laughs> There's this sense of ownership in the, in the audience, in the community, among the staff here at the theater. This thing doesn't happen with just a couple of people making an effort. It's, it's the kind of thing that everybody's getting behind. She told me she loved me like fireworks. That's the way I like it. So please, baby, please open your eyes and catch my disease. I think it's truly a very entertaining and funny variety show with like this soulful music that happens in the heart of it, which really gives kind of contrast and richness to the, the humor. I, I love it. I love being a part of it and feel, you know, uh, like the show is a huge gift. The show is at its best when everyone on stage can shine. So it's this like weird kind of alchemy. And so I think the challenge is always to figure out what are the exact right ingredients for these guests and for all of the people on stage. I just hope the show can can keep being as fun and, and being as wonderful as it as it is right now. Ben Lee with John Munson and the Witnesses. Good night, everybody.